Hey everyone, welcome, welcome to our live chat. I'm Heather, I'm Director of Education, and guys, Renee and I are coming to you live each and every day um, just so we can talk Luminous. And uh, you can see different products, see what we do, see the starter kit. So if you're at all interested in seeing the, um, the kit and uh, learning more about Luminous, this is for you. Uh, maybe you've ordered it and you're waiting for it to come in. We are here for you because we're going to walk you through that. Um, once you get your kit, you can always come in and, and join us as we do it. And then if you have any hiccups or, you know, you're like, hey, wait, that didn't happen for me or this happened, you can, we can talk about it. Um, and so we really are here for you. Now, if you're waiting on your kit, um, actually, let me put this up real quick. We are here. That's how many times we're here. We are here starting at eight central time. Renee usually takes the mornings. I take the afternoons and we are on with my crazy hair, um, all those times. And then at four, we're on Facebook and on YouTube as well. So make sure you jump on, make sure you uh, subscribe to us so you can uh, be notified when we come up. Now, if you are waiting on your kit, your kit might look like this that's coming in. And that is our, um, our icon. The icon is one of our newer ones, but even if you have the legend um, or maybe you have the icon pro, all the instructions are going to be the same, which is great, but you're going to get your system. You're also going to get two bottles of love. I'm sorry, two bottles of foundation, which is great because one, you can color match. So you can match yourself 365 days a year. And then um, we give you the two big bottles because we want you to practice. We want you to have fun with it. We want you to um, really get in there and get used to it because the more you have the stylus in your hand, the more you're going to learn and the more you're going to love it. And so we do give you the bottle of love and of the blush, which we will go over and I'm going to show you how to use those. Now, um, when you are first starting out, we want you to, these are the four things that I want you to do. And the first thing is get it out and start playing with it. And it comes already put together. The hose where the air comes out of is attached to your stylus. It's attached to the compressor. You just have to plug it in and you're good to go. You're going to turn it on right here. And then this is how your stylus sits in right there. So it's real nice and I leave mine out all the time. I don't even put it up anymore because you're going to be using it every day. And so it's really nice, petite um, and beautiful. So you can leave it out um, all the time. So, um, but we want you to get it out, start playing with it, put water in the stylus. You're going to put the water right in here and then start spraying your face. Remember that you're going to want to keep your stylus moving at all times, which makes sense because we do want the makeup to go around the face. Um, but when I start airbrushing, I make one complete pass. Then I go in and hit those problem areas. And then I make another, comp another, comp another compass, another pass to just blend it all in. Um, now you want to keep your stylus moving. You also want to make sure that you keep it about four finger widths away from your face. This is a perfect distance to do that. Um, and it's going just to blend in very nicely. And then the big thing is to barely pull back on the trigger. Unlike traditional makeup with Luminous, you're, you don't want to see it go on. And I know that sounds kind of weird, but it's the truth. You don't want to see it go on because it goes on so light that we barely want to pull back on that. All right. So, um, I don't want to put on the, I'm like, I'm trying, I was going to do something different. Um, this is our blush and I'm, this is the soft rose blush. One, two, and I'm going to put two drops of the soft rose blush. Now our blush is super high pigmented, meaning it does intensify. So when you are airbrushing, just remember that. And, and if you're like, well, she hasn't even done her foundation. Why is she putting on blush? I put on blush first to blend it. Um, because of the fact it does intensify, I like a softer blush. And so I'm going to put my blush on first. And I start my movements 
and then start pulling back on my trigger to release the makeup. Now that's all I'm gonna do because I am going to use one of our highlighters. Hey, Nancy, good to see you. All right, so blush is on. Now at this point, um, you could start airbrushing. So if, again, if you're new, hey Candy, if you are new, you could go right in to the airbrushing. Um, the foundation that you have is going to give you full coverage. I just like showing different products um, to show you what they do. So this is one of my favorites. It's the peach color corrector and I'm gonna do two drops. And the peach color corrector is going to help with dark circles, it's going to help with any uh, brown spots, so like sunspots, um, freckles, things like that, and it's great for any skin type. Now, I do have a little bit of redness, and so I'm using it for that as well. I, you know, I'm a big believer in in going in and just. <laughs> I don't like to switch a lot of products. I like to um, kind of go in and use what is most important to cover and then use it to cover the not so important. Does that make sense? <laughs> I hope so. All right, so I used a little bit of the peach color corrector. I did put on my blush and now I'm going to use the ultra foundation. Hey, Candy. Yeah, something I think is going on. Um, I don't know if it's this, I don't know what the deal is. Um, all right, so I'm shaking up my Ultra and I'm gonna put my drops in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do six drops. How is everyone doing today? All right, so now I have my, my drops in here. Now I'm gonna start making my passes. Again, making one pass all the way around. And you can make circles around the cheek area when you are when you're playing with it and you're practicing. It will. Um, let me get under my eyes. Um, you'll you'll feel the air because there is air that comes out. You'll start feeling the air, and I can see candy now, guys. I don't know what's going on. It's. It, uh oh, has it been messing up? Yeah, this is my fir first time on today. Um, but when you are playing with it and just feeling the air, you'll understand, like, and moving this around, I'm not racing. You don't have to hurry. The moves are very deliberate, and I'm, it feels good, number one. But I know where it's going because of the air. I can feel it all over. but I'm lightly pulling back. So even if I want full coverage, I'm still going to pull back lightly on the trigger. Just because you want full coverage doesn't mean to pull back more on the trigger. Make sense? Um, you get your coverage with the passes that you make. All right, so now, I'm gonna use, I love this one. We use this for, um, I was like, this is gonna be the new fall color, but I really love it for summer. It's the Amber Illuminizer. And I'm gonna show you what they look like. Here are all of our Illuminizers. And it shows you on different skin tones. Now with this pigment, you are going to want to shake it up. You'll definitely want to shake it up because of the fact it is a heavier pigment. But aren't those colors just beautiful? The rose gold is gorgeous. Uh, pearl is one of my favorites, which I didn't think was going to be my favorite, was the diamond. I thought like just saying that, I feel like it's gonna be too sparkly. Um, and it wasn't, it was beautiful. It's real, it does, it does have a shimmer to it. Uh, but it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So this is amber and I'm going to use it as eyeshadow on my lid. And I just put a couple of drops into my stylus. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? 
I love that color. I'm gonna put a little bit more here. And with the eyes, I do go back and forth. La, 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 la. Ooh. So I go back and forth to get, well, because I'm concentrating just on my eye, I go back and forth to give it a break. Um, and that way you're not, um, it's not too wet, but to get the intensity that you want as well. I just love, love, and watch this guys, it's gonna blow your mind, ready? Yeah, that's right. I used it for lips. Is that not the coolest thing? I love it. I love that it's so versatile. And you can do that with any of our products. Even, whoops, even the blush you can put on your lips as well. So it's a lot of fun. It's a, um, you know, when we say there's a lot you can do, we're not lying. Um, I am now rinsing this out just because um, of the heavier pigment with the luminizers. So I do like to go in and rinse that out. But you know what I want to do? As I was putting this on, Renee's been using a lot of pinks lately. <clears throat> and I'm wondering, because the pearl luminizer is really light. Oh, you, Candy, you ordered the contour kit? You're going to love it. That's the diamond. Let me see if I can't Let me find pearl. I want to put pearl on top of that because it does have, if you've seen unicorn, you know that it, ha it has that iridescent look. Um, and I'm wondering, putting pearl on here, if that will do the same. So maybe I should have cleaned it out yet. All right, so I'm going to do this. All right. Put about two drops. And now I'm going on top of the amber highlight or amber um, luminizers with the pearl to see if it gives it kind of a more of an iridescent, if it changes that color a little bit. I don't know if it will or not, but I wanted to check. It does kind of lighten it a little. Ooh, look at that. Oh, Renee's gonna be so jealous. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm just doing it on the inside. So the dark, it's still darker on the um, outside corner. And then you have the lighter iridescent -y, pinky amber on the inside. Ooh, I'm loving this. Wow, that is awesome. So that was the amber luminizer and the pearl luminizer right on top of it. All right. So there you go on that. Um, then you can always line. You could, um, you know, we, uh, we do like to line the bottom with eyeshadow because we're not having, it's not going to be so heavy. It's not going to be as harsh. Um, so if you wanted to go in and do, let's see what color this is. This is kind of a, I don't know if I want to do that one. Let's do the brown. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to do the liner at the four o'clock. Um, but I am going to line the bottom with, let's see, I'm using the nude and naughty palette and I'm going to do, I'm going to do kind of, there's a coppery color right in here that I'm going to line the bottom. I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush. Yeah, I forget how much I love the luminizers. I need to start using them more. And just go in there and smudge, smudge, smudge. Just using the tip of the... Um, of a flat eyeshadow brush to do the bottom liner. 
And then I can curl. Hey, Amber. Girl, you're going to love it. So I used the Illuminizers. I used Amber Illuminizer all over. And then I went back with the Pearl Illuminizer on top of it, but just on the inside. So hold on one second. I'm going to put... I'm going to put the luminizers on here so you guys can see them because they're gorgeous. They really are. And I always want to sing luminizer, luminizer, luminizer. All right, let's see where they are. Luminizers. Okay, here. Okay, and that shows all of them. There's five total. Um, and they really are my favorites. Um, let me paste this real quick. There you go. There it is. Um, because it does give you that shine, but I love them as eyeshadows. It is so pretty. So I did the amber all on the lid and then went back with pearl just on the inside because Renee's been using some pinks. Um, and I've been digging that a lot. And so I did it, the pearl right on top right there. Um, and it kind of lightened it a little bit, but gave it that iridescent look. Um, okay, Candy, I will. I will. Yay. All right. So now I just curled my lashes. I'm going to add a little bit of mascara. And with the mascara, you can go in and, you know, really go to town on it or you could go in and just you know kind of tint them a little so i'm gonna go back oh and i did put uh, the amber luminizer on my lips all right there we go a little bit of mascara really, really helps. And I'm gonna put the lip jelly on top of it. Right on top of that luminizer. Just a little bit to give it some, I don't know if it'll change the color. Hmm. It's still there. It still has that luminosity to it. Voila. There you go. There you go. Oh, Candy, thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, that luminizers, guys, check those luminizers out. Um, there's so many different ways you can use them. The rose gold, I like putting all over the face before putting the foundation on. You can also mix it in with um, your blush um, like we do with love. It just gives it another little color. So thank you, Amber. All right, guys, there you go. We are set. Let me put my hair down now. Ooh, has anybody gone to get their hair done yet? Ooh, I need to. I need to bed. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. We'll be back at 4 o'clock to, um, to have some fun. And we'll do a... Um, a <laughs> we'll do... Um, I'm trying to think. I kind of want to use the luminizers again. But we'll have some fun. Um, there was something else I wanted to use, but I can't. But you guys reach out to me if there is a product that you want to see. Um, we can definitely put that in um, and, and go from there. So, all right, guys. I am going to put Velvet Veil out here because I do want to use Velvet Veil. All right. I will see you later. Bye, guys. See you at 2.